Hi everyone, my name is Krish. I'm one of the core developer of Plugexa. Today you're going to learn about how you can create your first best augmented reality mobile application using Plugexa platform in less than 10 minutes. Let's get started. Since Plugexa is a cloud-based platform, visit www.creator.plugexa.com and provide your login credentials. If you are the first time user, click on sign up button and provide your information and get login credentials as soon as you log in you can see all three options by clicking on own AR app you're creating your own first augmented reality application so now you can see this pop-up with three steps first step you can select your type of application like cloud AR or, or device based augmented reality then you can select your own SDK we have three SDKs available right now before ya yeah, AR kit AR core so within that I'm choosing the Vuforia and this step you can see the Vuforia license screen. So here you need to provide Vuforia SDK details. So if you don't have Vuforia license keys by clicking on the down link you can, you will be redirected to Vuforia developer yeah. portal. From there you can get client access key, say, uh, server access key. We also have the video here by clicking on the video it will instruct you to how to create your Vuforia account. Since we already have the license keys we are just copying the license keys here and we are creating the application your project is created now you can see the add new marker button here you can add marker which you want to augment so by clicking on the plus button you can upload your marker from your local system so it should be jpeg or jpg format and make sure you are using the right marker All right, here we go. So this is where the whole magic is going to happen. So this is your workplace. Like by holding the mouse left button, you can move or rotate your scene and it will give you the access to all the directions of the scene. So this will allow you to create your augmented reality experience in most comfortable way. So this is very important in the whole product. On your left top corner, you can see the assets. So by clicking on these assets, you will have the access to all of our assets, like our own assets, like we are giving us plenty of assets. If you don't have any assets with you, still you can use our library and you can play around. We support all 3D, video, audio, images, text, buttons. So all these features we support. You can also upload your assets from your local system. If you don't have any supported formats, you can use our converters where you can upload your uh, content 3D, audio, video, and you can get the right format which is supported by PlugXR. For now, I'm using the asset from the library. Asset is loaded on exact on marker, like a zero zero positions. So you can, by rotating your grid, you can see the whole view of your 3D content. content. So on top, you can see the transform controls like positions, rotation, scale. And on right corner also, you can see the positions, rotations and scale. So you can, for easy access, we have given on grid and with this transform controls you can move scale rotate your model however you want so there are two ways you can control your entire uh, transform controls like by clicking here like a scaling the model from here and or you can move by clicking on the arrow buttons or if you are not comfortable here on the right corner you can use directly this palette and you can adjust your um, positions and also if you want to scale your model or rotate like from here also you can operate uh, very comfortably so still if you don't want to use this palette also if you know 
exact number you can directly type here and use this palette you can see the opacity so if at all if you want to enable the transparency in your model or whatever the asset you are using so you can use this opacity you can see the advanced 3d settings so if at all if you are not happy with the model however it loaded like you can or if you want to change the quality of the model or the texture of the model so this is where you can able to do like we have all the options like shaders metalness smoothness and all this palette even though if you are not so familiar with this information still you can play around and you can you can adjust your model however you want If you want to create animations to your experience so click on animations there you can see the custom animations here move rotate all this and model animations so you can use this animations palette and create your animations so let's say we have a model animation so by clicking on this the animation is loaded in the timeline and click on the play to see your animations which is playing in the grid itself so this is how your output is look like so we almost done with creating our first AR experience so before we publish let's see the other options we have the preview here you can see the preview before even creating your own applications by following these instructions you can see the preview and also we have the markers tab where you can access the other markers if at all if uh, if you have the markers here we can also have the event section so by clicking on the add action you can see the drop down here so here you can add the actions to your scene almost done so let let me save my project then I can publish so as soon as I click on it you can see the for the first time user you can see the screen so there on top you can see Android and iOS uh, drop down there so let me create the project for Android so by providing app name and organization name and by selecting the splash screen app icon app logo So these are all like you can also see the preview like uh, after creating your application how exactly it looks like in mobile so you can also see the preview here so as soon as I'm done th with this so I can click on the get Android app um, button here once I initiate the app generation so it will take a little bit time to because it's creating your own application the whole project file itself so it will take a little bit time so as soon as it's ready you can click on the download apk section where you can see your apk file um, which you can download into your local system or you can download your apk file directly from the qr code or the link so congratulations you created your first android application from the platform so let's see how, how you can able to create the same uh, process from the ios as well mm -hmm. So as we know that um, dealing with the iOS is a little tough even in a regular development as well. So there is a small restriction here like you need to get your P12 file and mobile pr uh, provision files. So which is something you can generate from your Apple developer account. So the link below it will guide you how to create your own uh, P12 uh, certificate and mobile provision files so because uh, since we already created the these two files we are directly using from the local system
So you can also protect your entire P12 file by giving your password and you can add your build ver uh, number and version. And you can add your splash screen app icon. Same same process what we followed for Android and the similar thing we can follow for here as well. So once it is completed, like you can click on get iOS app. So it will take an, uh, at least some 15 to 30 minutes time to create your own iOS application. So it will take a little bit time. Once it is ready, you can see the IPF file which is downloaded in your local system. So connect your mobile and double click on that IPF file. You can see the app is installing in your mobile. Once it's installed, we can see the experience whatever we created in the grid. Now you can see the real-time experience output here. Pretty cool, right? Now we understand how simple it is. We created Android Play Store ready project, iOS App Store ready project. We also have the source mode control so that we can extend our project if at all if you want to add any advanced features. You don't have to struggle for installing the Android Studio, Xcode or Unity 3D before your SDK or any other ER SDK and no dependency on the hardware you can access from anywhere from the browser and you don't have to depend on the coding also this is something a one-stop solution for your augmented reality development i hope you guys understood how you can create your first augmented reality application in just 10 minutes by using our plugxr platform if you have any queries feel free to visit our website www.plugxr.com where we have our developer forum you can post any of your queries and we will try to answer as quickly as possible. Thank you so much. Thanks for watching.